back to another Cheap Tuesdays. Now we're going to look at something a little bit different this time. Uh, most of the Cheap Tuesdays I've done are flat out reviews, but that means I need a new pedal to do a review on every single video, and it limits the kind of videos I can do on cheaper pedals. And because I have a lot of them, I thought, well, I kind of want to bring out more and more Cheap Tuesdays videos, and I want to show a few different things, um, maybe give a little bit more in-depth uh, analysis of certain pedals by having more different content on them. So today, what I wanted to do is look at three classic circuits, but in the modern cheap clone realm. So all these pedals here, you can see I've got the Valaton Distortion, the D250X and the Black Rat. They're all very, very affordable pedals. You know, you can pick them up for quite low prices. I'll try and put some links below. I'm in Australia, so my pricing is based on the Australian prices. Uh, in America, sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's not. Um, you know, most of these things come from China, but just depends on how you are getting it to your country. Now, as you can see, I've got a different background. I'm running the green screen. I don't know how well this is going to work. I didn't take it down to shoot this video. I think most of these kind of guitar videos, I'm just going to have the black screen back up there uh, because of the shadows I'm creating being so close. But we'll see how it goes. It might work. Uh, so let's just talk about these pedals first. So let's... So kind of really you need to know the background of what these are based on and it's three of the classic hard clipping circuits of the late 70s early 80s and these are kind of the the basis for the distortion pedal these were the first pedals that came into existence that really had that distortion pedal kind of name to them uh, even though this uh, we'll get onto that in a minute if you haven't watched the review of the D 250X, I kind of explained it a bit there, but it's sort of a distortion, sort of isn't. It's hard clipping, so it's a type of distortion. Uh, so the thing with hard clipping is basically your signal goes in, you have diodes or something else that clips it, it creates almost a square wave by clipping the top and the bottom off, and then it's filtered and it comes out. Uh, a tube scream or something like that is different, the clipping diodes are in the feedback loop, so the signal goes in, and then some of that signal is fed back diodes clip it into it. So it's kind of mixed back in in parallel in a way. It's not exactly like that, but it, it gives you this softer, rounder thing. So this is your hard front up hard clipping. Funny thing to know though, a clone, famous for its soft overdrive, is also hard clipping. But anyway, so what are these pedals based on? We have the Valison Distortion, which is a Boss DS1. It's actually based on a modded Boss DS1, but does have a mode based on the classic uh, Japanese black label uh, DS1. I happen to have one of these back a few years ago. Don't have it anymore, but uh, this does remind me of that, and it has two kind of modded modes. Uh, the D250X is based on the DOD 250 and the MXR Distortion Plus. They're pretty much the same pedal circuit, except uh, with different clipping in there. One's Germanian, and I think the other one is uh, just a normal silicon diode, but that changes the tone. And the Black Rat is based on the famous Proco Rat. So all famous uh, circuits great for that kind of sound that you know used a lot in the 90s even though they came out long before that the 90s is really to me that hard clipping into a clean amp sound in the 80s i think they used it more as a boost for their marshals and stuff but as clean amps became more popular again uh, like fenders and stuff and the mesa clean side you started hearing it a lot more. Of course, Kurt Cobain's famous for using the DS1 into various amps. Usually it was either a Mesa preamp, a Fender Bassman, I think it was a Blonde Bassman, or it might have been a Silver Face Bassman, and a Fender Twin, I think, on Nevermind, was used on some of the tracks. So, usually a cleanish amp and a DS1. Uh, the Rats were used by various people, I think. A lot of the 90s bands used Rats. D250 and the MXR Distortion Plus, a bit different, but we'll look at that as well. Um, not as popular in the kind of grunge things I'm talking about, but used by a lot of kind of metal guys as a booster as well. So I'm not going to bore you all day talking about them. Let's do some tones. Uh, what I wanted to start with is setting it up in kind of more of what the original pedals did. Now, most of these clones give you more options than the original pedals. 
uh, either based on mods or variations. So for example, this has tube and ultra, which are based on the Keeley mods. This has two pedals in one, the Dodd 250 and the Distortion Plus. And this has two pedals in one, which is the classic Vintage Rat and then the Turbo Rat, which just changes the clipping diode. Most of these switches, all they do is change the clipping diodes, but they change the sound enough to be warranted. So I'm gonna set them up as a kind of stock high distortion sound that I like. They're all gonna sound different, um, but you're gonna get the idea. So this is basically the uh, black Japanese TS1. We've got the MXR Distortion Plus, and we've got the classic Rat. I'm playing uh, this again. It is my J and D LP, uh, playing into the Seriotone into a Marshall emulated uh, cab IR in my React IR. So clean tone wise, just gonna play a riff. So here we go. So there might have been a few slight level differences, but the main difference is the amount of gain, the kind of feeling of the gain and the EQ. Now the distortion here on its normal setting has quite a scooped mid-range, kind of this very fizzy treble going on. The uh, M mode on this has a bit more mid-range, uh, still a bit fizzy, but a different kind of clipping. And then the Black Rat has a lot more flub coming in on the low ends that it's getting distorted. It's a bit more fuzzy, uh, less of that fizzy high-end distortion, and a load more mid-range, not much bass and treble. So they're kind of the main differences between the three. This is the lowest gain. I'd argue the Black Rat's probably the most gain. It's definitely the fuzzy, dirtiest. Uh, this has got as much probably sounding gain, but it's a bit cleaner, a bit tighter in the gain. Um, so... I'm just going to keep going through some various settings. Now this isn't meant to be a one by one comparison. Like some people would set up a loop and stuff. I may do that for cheap distortion pedals in general. Uh, it's a little bit of a different thing. Kind of comparing it that way. The different feeling that these pedals give uh, to me makes me play differently. So I think that is something to keep in mind. You're not going to play the same on a Rat as you are on a DS1. So. Uh, comparing them with the exact same riff looped doesn't always make sense to me. Even if I play the same riff, I'm manually looping it, so I'm going to start playing better. My palm unit is going to be different. My technique is going to be different depending on what I'm getting back from the pedal. So I want to start trying some different modes that aren't the classic one. So I'm going to keep the, the DS1 clone, the Distortion DS10, similar, but we're going to go to the Ultra mode, which is a lot fatter. So uh, I'll play the normal mode and then the ultra mode. Has a lot more level. A lot more mid-range, a lot more level, a fatter bottom end, very different. Uh, the D250X, let's just try it on the D mode, gain all the way up. There's not a lot of different changes there. We'll compare the two. A lot more level, a lot more mid range again. Uh, this we're gonna go in the turbo mode. Back off the distortion a little bit. So I think they've all actually sound more similar at this point. There's less of that difference between the 
scoop to mids and the more mids they're more even playing field but we'll go through them I'm still not sure exactly what I was going to play I was playing some riffs before now that I was liking but I've forgotten everything I improvised at that point but let's just try something <laughs> distortion sounds the most modern this sounds the most vintage and the d250x for me it's nice on leads it's thick it cuts through it doesn't get buried but i think it might be a bit too much for rhythm where i actually like this for those kind of chords especially the pop punk grunge kind of thing for your classic rock not so much um but it all is a different opinion that's why i like doing these videos they all give different tone and it's what works for you i'm using a fairly mid heavy amp so something a little bit more scooped like the boss ds1 style works um but if you're using something really scooped like a twin reverb i would recommend probably a rat because that extra mid range uh kind of works a lot better gets you closer to kind of a martially uh mid range whereas this might be too scooped especially on that normal setting I uh, want to do a little bit of neck pickup leads. I'm having problems with my switch, even though I just replaced it. So, there we go. And actually try a little bit lower gain. Now, this is where this is probably going to be the best. It almost goes clean. Rat's okay. And this doesn't sound great, lower gain at all. I think this is the most fun pedal of the lot, but it doesn't necessarily do a lot of things. It has a lot of different tones, so you can get... Uh, different sounds, but I think it works well for a specific style Where this kind of depends more on your guitar and amp, but let's try and dial in something I'm gonna go to the tube setting which is similar to the ultra setting just a little bit more gain and different low end Interesting thing just as a side note is both this the DS1 style, which is the DS10, and the RAT style. As you increase the gain, it gets fatter and the high end rolls off. With this, it's kind of the opposite. More gain gets that fizzy kind of clipping and you don't get as much kind of fatness. So you do adjust the tone based on your gain levels. So let's, yeah, start with this. Dial that in, I think that's all right. Gain here. Almost too, almost too clean there. Cool. Uh, turbo mode still. Not turbo mode. Cool. So I'll just improvise some kind of leady thing. So let's start again with distortion.
That's actually giving me really nice, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep playing. It's really, really fat, loving, loving what it's doing. Uh, it's a bit more ragged, kind of a bit more, uh, kind of dirty blues. So for that kind of neck pickup stuff, these two are great and I'm having so much fun with them there. Uh, now I just kind of want to have fun with them. I mean, I, like I said, I don't really want to get too technical of a comparison comparison. They're not really good for comparing like that. They do different things. So just dial in a sound and I'm just going to play something that sounds good with it. Let's be honest, it isn't going to be too technical, not too, you know, there. it's just playing around what inspires you. So. Let me just grab uh, the distortion for one. Let's start off with that with its very high gain ultra setting. Cool tone, I like it. Way off on my drop tuning there. This is, um, down half a step, uh, so dropped C sharp. That's fun. Um, <laughs> lost the string a little bit over the edge of the, the it's a bit narrow this uh, neck so that was pretty sloppy playing but for that kind of stuff which I'm doing a bit of now that kind of more Alton rock kind of grungy stuff I like this pedal it's great and the rat's actually pretty cool I think we're gonna use that in a sec. <laughs> Uh, keeping in that tuning, gonna go to the rat and dial in something I also find enjoyable. Play. <laughs>
way more sludgy, way more fun. And a cool thing you can do is double track tracks with the rat and this. I mean, these are two cheap pedals. Left one side, so you've got more definition, more cut, and then a fat balling kind of thing. You know, maybe change the chords you're using and just a wall of cool, cool sound. Uh, for this, I actually want to go super clean because I like it like that. Oh, do I want to go super clean? Yeah. Go for more of a classic rock thing. So, so yeah, for the D250, uh, kind of going a little bit more classic rock, kind of bluesy rock, southern rock kind of thing. Just a, just a feel, just a feeling I had. Um, you know, because it's good for that. So fairly low gain. <laughs> So that was a look at three classic kind of circuits in cheap, cheap pedals. Like I said, I'll put the links below for whatever I can find, but you might be able to find it cheaper. Sometimes they're on Amazon, depending on which country you're in. Sometimes they're better off getting it from a Chinese seller like Alibaba and stuff, depending on your view of buying for those sellers and your experience in your country. Sometimes it's better off small stores on eBay. So have a look. Uh, they're all widely available, except for the Valaton, which I found only certain sellers shipped to Australia, uh, so if you're in a country that doesn't get a lot of different shippers, it might be a bit harder to find, but these two uh, from Mosky are quite easy to find. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed, uh, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, um, please subscribe. Cheap Tuesdays, I'm going to be trying to do videos probably every fortnight. I might try and ramp it up to every week, I'm not sure. I'm in isolation at the moment in Melbourne, so I'm not exactly leaving, but I don't always have, you know, enough content to do. Uh, free plugin Friday is every Friday, that is definitely every Friday. And if you're into watching Twitch, I've started streaming on Twitch, mostly not music, mostly gaming and chilling and stuff, but if that's kind of your thing, uh, that link is also below to follow me on Twitch and Twitter and Instagram and all those social things. If you give a shit about them, uh, links are there. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.